everyone. Welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about Icy Lynn and Icy France by Sarah Milanowski. That's how you say it, right? I think that's how you say it. And I've listened to audiobooks by her, so I should know. Okay. I mean, I've read a lot of her books. Anyway, so this arc we got through Edelweiss. And the book is basically about um, Sydney, whose best friend just broke up with her cheater boyfriend. And the two were supposed to go on this um, whirlwind trip to Europe, but because they broke up, Leela convinces Sydney to leave her agoraphobic mom um, for the summer, which, you know, Sydney is really nervous about doing, but they leave for the summer to kind of go and be teens, go and be new adults, go and, you know, have fun, a fun summer over in Europe. They just have, like, madcap adventures in Europe. They do, with, they do. Uh, you know, romantic interests and, you know. Doing what people do in Amsterdam. Because, as it turns <laughs> out, on their way over to Europe... The ex, the cheating ex, is on the same plane with his, um, is on the plane, and um, so there's kind of that love angle, passion, and um, you know. And then his friend is meeting him in Europe, and his friend kind of maybe has a thing for Sydney, and it goes from there. Super adorable. Yeah. And okay, so let me preface this with the fact that. Of the Sarah Milanowski books that I've read, they're like the children's, you know, cats with wings and, yeah. um, you know, the, the witch series where I, like the girls are tweens. So I was really <laughs> expecting like a very kind of safe book. And this, this is, is new adult. New adult. This is it very is new adult. Sex, drugs, and um, Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, I thought it was funny, though. I thought it was really cute. I oh, liked, it was adorable. I liked Sydney. I found Leela really annoying, but I think maybe she was supposed to be annoying. Yeah, no, Leela was really annoying, but she's supposed to be because Sydney is, a, like, she's a doormat, and she's got to learn kind of how to take care of herself instead of taking care of everybody around her. Well, and, like, the whole time I'm reading this, I kept thinking, I've been to Europe, I wouldn't do these things, but then I'm like, I had, didn't go to Europe when I was 19, so maybe when I was 19, I would have done these things and gotten myself into these situations. See, I could totally see us saying similar things just based on our trip to New York. Oh, well, yeah. Like, Sydney's tips, the beginning of the chapter, totally reminded me of stuff <laughs> that either you would say or I would say to somebody who's planning a trip, it's you know, true. someplace new. It's true. So it yeah. was totally believable for me. And I am kind of jealous. I wish I could go to Europe and just decide to go to a different country and travel all kind of wherever I want. Yeah, that's true. And that's what I wanted to do when I was 18, but I didn't get a chance. But how terrifying to just stay in a random, like, I know. Hostel. I refuse to stay in hostels. You know me. I have to have my own bathroom in a concierge. Um, so that's why when I was reading this, I was like, okay, <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> I know. It was very terrifying. I loved Sydney's relationship with Jackson, who is oh, the, yeah. the best friend... Leela's boy, ex-boyfriend, Matt's best friend, who's basically traveling with him in Leela's spot. I would read a whole book about Sydney and Jackson. This basically kind of was a book about them, though. But I feel like, because you don't really, I don't want to give anything away, but, like, I I always, like, want to, I want to read the relationship book. I always wanted to be like, so what happens next? Okay. All right. I see what you're saying. You want to see what happens next. But there is going to be a different book. We're not going to get into what this it's, next book is going to be about. I would say it's a companion. Yeah, set in the same world. Yeah, that takes place at a summer camp. I'm so excited, though. I, I'm going I'll, to I'll read, read that. that book, I'll totally read that. If I can get an arc of that, I will totally read the arc. Like, That's true. I am so ex- I want to read it now. Right. <laughs> um, do you have anything else to say? I don't. It was, I mean, it was great. It's a quick read. It's cute. It, it was, it's just, it's a beach read. It's a perfect beach read. It is totally a beach read. And, but, and there was a little bit of, there was like growth on everyone's there part. There was a little too, bit of growth, which was yeah. Nice. It was good. So we should just read it. Okay, so our rating scale starts at five unicorns, comes down to two unicorns, and if it's sucktacular, it doesn't get a horn, and therefore it's a horse. So I'm going to read it for unicorns. I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it four unicorns too. It was just, like I said, it, sometimes you just want a book that's fun to read, and it was just fun to read. And I'm a big Anglophile, so if you put London in the title, I'm there. And Well, oh, I totally forgot about this part. So the reading list in this book was fantastic. I now have a whole new kind of section of my TBR just based on this. She totally plays to the bookish people out there. It's fantastic. I love it. It's good times. All right, so we will see you around. Bye. Bye.